Hello everyone, uh, back again with another video on my 100 watt Ohm Tech, red and black obviously, and my uh, CW5202 chiller setup. So the last video was kind of just a brief overview of uh, the things that I have done to it, but since then I wheeled it out of the location, maybe answer a few questions from the last video and show you how I have things set up couple different ways I rewired things and uh, moved things. One thing before I got my uh, um, laser, I didn't realize how much uh, waste would be generated. So I need to clean some of this up here before I get back. Also, you know, make sure you guys have adequate trash disposal. So um, yeah, let me go ahead and uh, clean this up and I'll hop right back. Thanks. All right, so I got everything cleaned up. Um, I think the first thing I'll go a little more in depth with is my air assist. So I went with the Fortress. This is the two gallon, 130 feet, 135 PSI. I can't talk today. Um, I think this is the bare minimum of what you should go with because about 15 seconds into each job, um, the, the, the compressor will just start to cycle. It will cycle all the way until the job is finished. So we have an air tube. I purchased the one from the Beards and Builds video. So it came with a crazy amount, oh, crazy amount of uh, extra tubing. So I left that until I find out my exact placement that I want to put the, the compressor. Um, my idea still stands of wanting to make this into one complete rolling unit. So I want to keep as much air hose intact while I can so um, I can uh, use it later on. So uh, let me get the key and we'll open up the back and show you where this tube goes. So as you can see with having the chiller in this spot, it just leaves not too much wiggle room with this uh, water line so i think in one of the next videos i want to look into coming up with a way better way to get this water circulating i mean it works fine now but i like things to look cool so um actually in order to lower that we can just wheel this over like this creates some more slack lower the back compartment when I installed the air assist, I wanted to keep it everything as stock as possible. All right, so you can see these are the four mounting holes right here where the stock pump was sitting at. So I removed that. Uh, I used the inlet and the outlet from the, uh, from the stock location with the solenoid and the power. So for the power, I actually came up and into the same hole up here that comes through the side of the case. And for all the wiring for the solenoid, so sorry, the wiring for the solenoid goes up that way. Uh, the airline comes back through the case here. And then since I have extra tubing, I actually ran it through here just to keep it clean along the bottom here. And then this behind here, if you can see it, is the elbow connector that sits just behind uh, the case here. So I want to come up with something better for that as well. Um, let's see what else here. All right, so let me move over to the side over there and I can show you how this is ran here because this is all powered directly off of the same um, lines that powered the original stock fan back there. So they were just pulled back through this hole, rewired back through here, pulled back through here, up through the hole, <laughs> Uh, I added some plastic sheathing to make it look better, came back down and into here. So um, that was fun. It's not too hard. It's just being attention to detail, I guess. So um, I wheeled this off to the side. You can see now I just have everything running off of this industrial power strip here. Um, and then back into the wall, I can show you that after. Um, so you can see the multimeter that I have. Multimeter, sorry, M meter. Uh, that I have, I have it on the side door. So let's go ahead and open that up. One thing that um, I forgot to mention in the first video was the fact that about two or three days after I purchased this, both 
switches no longer work. Um, luckily for me, they were broken in the on position. So every time I uh, use the power strip, I control the entire unit, uh, but it doesn't give me the peace of mind of being able to turn off the laser. So um, I actually have new switches I just purchased that are higher grade. So I'm gonna be putting those on soon. Um, let's see here. So I re-ran, like I said, I pulled all that cabling back. I re-ran it up here in through the top. Here. It's zip tied back in its stock position. None of this was changed because I didn't want to really mess with having to move the tubing up here. So I kept everything in the same positions. I didn't route anything outside of it, outside of the, uh, the case itself. Same stock power mounting location. These wires now feed the uh, solenoid. Um, no other modifications were done here. Um, I did obviously switch them over to the wind. Uh, and then I added one of the green connectors. Got a couple from work. Um, and then, yeah, that's, that's how I uh, did the air assist. So you can see down here too, my ammeter. It's not the cleanest hole. Didn't realize I had to cut an exact circle. So it looks okay. And uh, the wire goes up around here and then back into here through and spliced into my black wire from the power supply. Well, not black wire, sorry. It's spliced into my white wire on this model on the power supply. So I'll be sure to be more accurate here. Taking a step back, I can show you the mounting location a little bit better of my fan control, as well as my regulator. So the fan control is for the T6 over there. Um, the, the remote actually unplugs from here. Um, so I mounted this hard to the laser tube. Um, I obviously tapped this, drilled some holes, put that on there. Um, but the real cool part is I went ahead and I drilled holes into the bottom of the extension tube. Make sure if you do this, you file them well so you don't eventually poke a hole in that airline. But, you know, nice drill, file it out, sand it down, make sure there's no rough burrs, and it's worked pretty phenomenal. So let me open up the top case. So you can see here, um, everything is pretty stock, 100 watt tube. Um, I did do a few changes to the way that the water was routed. So um, I believe this tube over here actually comes from the other side. Um, I'm not sure, maybe, you know, depends on who assembles it, how they're gonna come. But you can see, um, this is how I have the water ran. Comes up through this hole. There's two holes, one on the right comes up to the two holes, the one on the right, comes back around, make sure there's no kinks, make sure everything is nice and smooth, and uh, it's been working flawlessly. So one good thing is I never really had to deal with laser, um, sorry, laser, I had never really had to deal with uh, lens alignment because it came stock from Ohm Tech, pretty, pretty aligned. So I haven't really had to mess with that at all. So that's it for the, modifications that I've made right now. Um, talking about some of the future projects I've been working on is a paint storage system for spray paint. I got a lot of spray paint. Um, I also did a few projects um, for my daughter's birthday that just passed. Uh, there you pretty much have it so um i'm starting to enjoy making these videos so if you guys like them please tell me what else you guys would like to see um some of the future mods that i have coming up is i definitely need to raise this unit uh i'm six foot two so it's kind of a pain to bend over so i'm devising a way to lift and extend uh i'm not sure how yet we'll figure it out um so i can make it higher six inches higher it'll still fit under my desk over there and um, be a little bit easier on my back also 
want to change out these caster wheels. I don't know, I'm not too much of a fan of them. They seem kind of small. I know it's not a heavy unit, but maybe change that up. Um, one of the big things I want to do is I'm a, I'm a fan of green. So I would really love to have this thing green and black. So maybe one day, so we'll see. Um, until then, you guys have a good day. Talk to you soon.